electrical will actually decrease, but uh, it, it, it would not, it's, we're not thinking that it's ever going to pay for itself, but it's just something to, you know, try and see what happens. These problems that we did have, um, I expect that they'll probably never pay for themselves in their, in their life expectancy of 15 to 20 years. Um, we just did it to, to be green, to jump on the renewable energy bandwagon. We install a lot of really high efficient uh, gas appliances and boilers and forced air furnaces for, for home and commercial property heating. And we thought, well, if everybody's going high efficient, then why shouldn't we, you know, do something as well? Uh, system that they've got going here? Well, um, Partouche is putting in two Skystream 3.7s. They're uh, maximum 2.8. Uh, 5 kilowatt, 2.4 kilowatt turbines. Um, he's will put out that much energy. He's got two of them, and uh, they're tied to uh, tied to the metropolitan grid, the uh, utility grid, um, right at his service panel. So um, you know, when those things spin, he's going to be dumping electricity. He's going to be dumping power right into his warehouse and his facility. Really good. Went together really easily. This is a two-part tower, 60 foot. So we put that base on, and you see the uh, the upper tier is uh, the second part is is the majority of it.